Okay, now I know everybody wants a fast, quick, five minute look. Um, as you know, I always start with my foundation on the, on the forehead and the eyelid first. And then after I've done my eye, I'll go back and do foundation from lash line down, uh, bottom lash line down. So um, I've foundationed the forehead and done the lid. My goal here is just to do a quick look that she can wear every day. Um, I'm mainly gonna use just a few, a few things. I'm gonna use bronzer, um, a matte bronzer, because that way I can use it as my mid-tone and to contour and bronzer face. And uh, a shimmer highlight, because that will give her pop really quickly. Mascara, 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 mascara. Um, and then just do a nice, uh, easy, fast lip. Um, and it'll give her a nice everyday look. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take a shimmering beige in my number 22 brush. And I'm gonna go over her lid for a little bit of shimmer. Next thing I'm gonna do, because you know my order is a bit strange, is I'm going to curl her lashes. Look down for me. Remember when you curl, it's a matter of multiple crimps. Starting at the base of the lash line, working your way out. Every look, no matter if you've got five seconds or 15 minutes, you gotta curl your lashes. Then I'm gonna do my first layer of mascara. Keep in mind, always my first layer of mascara is waterproof. Look down for me. Because it keeps the curl better. Then I'm gonna go back and just quickly comb out our lashes with my brush number three. Now, one of the things that makes this really fast is I'm gonna multitask with products. So for her mid-tone, I'm simply gonna use a matte bronzer. That will help me um, need less products and it'll make everything go faster. Starting in the crease, just defining that crease. A little bit in the outer corner of the lid. A little bit in the outer corner of the, cre of the lid as well. Now I'm gonna take my big fluffy number 28 brush and blend out that mid-tone, which is just bronzer. Now since I'm trying to use fewer products to make it faster, I'm gonna take my number 30 brush and just do a little bit more mid-tone in the outer corner where I would normally put my accent. my 28 brush, blending it out. I'll just look into the camera. You can see how that defines the eye all by itself. Okay, now all, I, all I've done is that highlight powder and then now a little bit of bronzer for a mid-tone. And I'm gonna do my second layer of mascara because even though I'm doing a quick, quick makeover, I need more than one layer of mascara. And you can see how just that little bit has really defined her eyes. So it doesn't take a lot of time or a lot of makeup. Now, of course, when you're doing it, you're probably gonna paint your whole face with foundation. That will make it faster as well. But you know me, I want my perfection underneath the eyelid, underneath the eye. So I am now cleaning up with a little eye cream to get rid of all that little bit of bronzer I might have dripped or anything that could cause any darkness there. And now I'm going to finish foundationing the face and concealing Alex's few minute imperfections. <laughs> okay, so her skin's not perfect, but she's cute, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> 
okay, now, I've done my second layer of mascara. I went ahead and finished the bottom half of her face foundation. You didn't need to watch that. Um, and now I'm going to um, use my bronzer again to define underneath her eye. That just gives me that little bit of definition I need without being, well, it can't be too much because we're doing a much more subtle look and we're just using bronzer as our eyeshadow. You wanna make sure though, any bronzer that you use on the eye has been tested for the eye. Now I'm gonna take my number 14 brush and I'm going to just take that same shimmer highlight that I used on her lid, and just pop it in the inside corners of the eye. This helps open her eye up and just gives it a little bit of a freshness. Now I'm gonna take my number 73 and I'm gonna apply her bronzer where it belongs, which is the cheek area and the temple to give her that really beautiful glow. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my, look up, uh, mascara on my bottom lashes. This is optional, um, it's up to you. Alex has such great lashes that I wanna do it. But if you don't wanna do it to save time, not a problem, don't do it. Now, all I'm gonna do, because this is a five minute look, and plus, I mean, my God, look at those, those uh, lips. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of lip balm, because Alex is a little bit dry. Then I'm gonna just have her take, mash them together, take a tissue, blot it off. So if I was doing a lipstick, that's how you remove the excess to keep the lipstick to stay, staying on so it doesn't shorten the lifespan of your lipstick. But with Alex, I'm simply gonna do a nice, sheer, beautiful gloss because that is all she needs. 